Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13, and this is your weekly angel card forecast for September 11th through September 17th, 2016. This week I am using the Angel Dreams Oracle Card Deck by Doreen Virtue. And as always, I'm going to pull three cards from the Angel Card Deck, one for your work and financial life, one for your love and romantic life, and one for your home and family life. We just need one minute here to get it going. That one. All right, let's get going. In your work and financial life, we have fire, transmutation, and purification. Here's the card to get it out of the glare. Here's the card. So. There's going to be changes. <laughs> There's going to be changes at work, um, but it's going to be for the better. That is the purification part. Um, fire, transmutation, we're turning things from something into something else. And sometimes that involves turning something on its head, like either burning it to the ground and starting all over, flipping it upside down. There's going to be some changes going on at work, but the purification aspect of it is that although fire will change the form of things, it cleanses it as it changes. So whatever you've got going on in your work life, it's going to be for your greater good. So um, it could be that perhaps some of you out there are losing a job or leaving a job voluntary or involuntarily leaving a job. Um, but this is the angel saying, trust that however that works out for you, it's exactly what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to put you on a path for something else that's better and that's in your best interest. Now, of course, not everyone is going to lose their job. So um, if that's not how it shows up for you, it's going to be of course personal for each of you individually, but this is some sort of big changes or big shakeups going on in your work life or your financial life. So keep that in mind. I know people don't want to hear big shakeups with regard to finances, so don't automatically go negative with that. It could be that you get some sort of unexpected windfall from somewhere. So this is something that's going to change, that's going to help you and put you um, like on your path or further you along your path. In your love life we have white, source, divinity, and enlightenment. That's the card. So this is saying that any sort of meetings, any sort of romantic interactions, whatever happens this week in your love life, it is divinely inspired. <laughs> There is a purpose. You are perhaps supposed to be meeting a soulmate or a soul family member. You are getting information, if it's not a relationship with this person, you're getting information from this person. This, it's a divine meeting, however that happens. If, now remember, it's in the love section, but it doesn't always mean like, of course, if you're coupled, right? It doesn't mean that you meet someone and you're like, oh, it was divinely inspired, we're supposed to be together. Like. No, <laughs> but, it, it, but it was a divine meeting. So just because you meet someone who you are supposed to meet or someone who is a soulmate or um, something along those lines where you have some sort of a connection, it might just be to garner that little piece of information and then thank them and let them be on their way. It doesn't mean you're supposed to have a whole bunch of shakeups and change your whole life around because the cards tell you you're going to meet someone this week. So... It's white. It's, again, clarity and purity, and, you know, universal energy. Trust the universe. Trust the information that you're getting. Things are happening according to divine timing, and everything's going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. Now, remember, that's regardless of whether you are single and meeting someone or whether you are coupled and dealing with issues that perhaps couples deal with. So, white... Source, divinity, enlightenment. So far, I'm loving this. <laughs> in your home life, we have... Oh, my God. In your home life, we have yellow. I knew there was a reason I wanted to wear this yellow shirt today. 
flexibility, adaptability, and personal power. This is also related to your solar plexus chakra. I don't know if you notice on this white card, we've got chakra things too. So, and this fire is red. I'm going to say do some chakra clearing this week. We've got red fire, root chakra. We've got white. We've got yellow. Try and get yourself in alignment. <laughs> Transmutation, divinity, personal power. This tells me that you need to get yourself in alignment. It's an overarching theme for this week. Do some meditations. Do some chakra clearing. Get yourself in alignment to allow for the changes to be coming. That's what we've got going on. I mean, we've got some major changes. Divine timing changes. Things that are happening for a reason. Major changes this week. <laughs> so, that's, and this is, you know, the message for your home life section. So, spend some time working on you, doing personal clearing, connecting the source, meditating. That will give you, thank you, that will give you the personal power that you need. That will give you the confidence. And as I'm saying that, I have my hand like on my solar plexus right here because that's what I'm, that's the feeling I'm getting is the power coming from within. Because all of this is going to give you the confidence to be that light that's emanating into the universe, to be the true you, and to be exhibiting your power in like a confident way. Not like power over people, but like your own personal power in a self-assured, confident way. So... All of a sudden, I'm getting like, like these hot flashes. There's, this is just so strong. This is just such a strong message this week. Whew. Okay, I've got to stop there or I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Lots of energy buzzing around in here. Okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube videos. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr where I can pull a angel card every day reading the, the energy of that specific day that will help kind of show you how this week is playing out on a day-by-day -day basis. And I would absolutely love it if you put something in the comments below about how this works out for you or what you've got going on either coming into this week or as this week plays out because this is so energetic and so powerful and I would just love to hear from all of you about how you're experiencing this personally. So thanks so much for watching guys. It means so much to me and we will see you next time.